everyone, how you doing? Trash Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. So, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of something I've been asked to review. So, I haven't paid for this. They have just sort of very kindly sent to me and asked me to unbox it and let you all know what I think of it. And of course, I will be honest. So, of course, this has been received from the Spider Shop, which is where I get most of my stock and enclosures and various things of course i do get on very well with them as well as other companies but i tend to work more with the spider shop to be fair huge supporters of me and my channel so a huge thank you to them so this is the box you can see it's a pretty pretty large box on the top is just simply uh, my address which i won't be showing you that so we're going to open it up and we'll take a look i'm going to drop the camera down to do that and uh yeah let's continue Okay, so I'm here with the box. You can see I haven't opened it. Let's uh, get into this. It's packaged really, really well, which of course I uh, don't really expect anything other than that from the spotter shop. Those guys know what they are doing. So as far as I'm aware, this is actually just some uh, like an enclosure to review. However, I did mention it to Lee when I spoke to him about uh, if I can have some decor with it as well, so I can sort of try and spare decor. So, so let's have a look. Here it is. Let's just let's just take that out for a minute. Put that to one side. Oh, wow, it's actually included. Right, we'll have a look at this in just a second. Let's get all the poly chips out. And that should be everything, I think. Yep. Right, I'm going to just quickly tie this up and I'll be back standing up and we'll take a look at the enclosure. Okay then, so the box has now been unboxed. I have the enclosure and a bag of decor, which is really, really kind of them. I'll show you that in just a minute. So firstly, to show you the enclosure, uh, it's actually still in the bug wrap. I haven't opened it, but uh, I think it should just sort of come off like so. And as you can see, this is one of the cylindrical enclosures. I think that is the right word to use. I'm going to use it anyway. And this is the same that I have my uh, female P species, Sawa Blue in. So really, really nice enclosure. Looks really, really well made. Uh, this one, however, has a plug in it. And so this should light up. And do I have a spare plug in here? I think I have a spare plug. So as you can see, there is a single LED strip on the inside of this lid and it's held in place really, really well and would look fantastic with a really nice uh, spider on the inside or invertebrate in general, whatever you want to keep. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, a, take the lid off this, we'll take a look at the design on the inside, how it's constructed, and then we'll take a look at sort of setting it up and getting an invert moved into this. I have a few ideas on what to put in here, so um, let's unplug this and take a look at the inside. So we're going to very quickly take a look at the design of the actual enclosure. Now I do already have one very similar to this from a different sort of provider. This one has been upgraded in a couple of ways. Firstly, obviously there is the LED which is on the inside which looks fantastic. And of course the actual locking system is slightly different as well. So these pins are much larger and what happens is, I just place that down like so. On the, in, on the outside of the lid here, you will see that there are these little uh, little dots and the dots will indicate which way the actual pins on the inside are facing. So as you can see, obviously, when you have them facing outwards, uh, that is what locks the actual lid in place. So it's a very, very simple idea. It works, obviously, which is great. Uh, the lid is actually two lids. If you can just see this seam along here, uh, the overlap and you can see that the actual ventilation is on the inside of this lid and on the inside of this one so there's no chance of this mesh sort of moving around and it is also bolted in two places so the LED light and the mesh and everything is held together really really well I would recommend as well uh, with these enclosures you can see that this there is like a inch overlap 
you might be able to sort of see that here. And so I would recommend if you have one of these to have it so that when the lid is on, that the wire sort of is behind them. That way you're not having any more obstructions. You don't want to sort of have it so that the seam is sort of at the front, ideally you obviously want it at the back. And I'd recommend sort of keeping the wire there so it's sort of out the way, shall we say. But yeah, really, really nice looking enclosure. I already have a few ideas on which spider to put into this. Not 100% sure yet, but I've got a few ideas. I want something that's going to be sort of colourful. Ideally, a nice female to go in here, I think, would be nice. And uh, we'll be taking a look at that very, very shortly. But before we take a look at the actual setting up of the enclosure and the rehousing of the tarantula into this, I want to sort of show you what else they included in the box. So they included this spider shop bag in the box which is great, it's like a little goodie bag. And I, I messaged Lee uh, when he said to me, would I be happy to review one of these enclosures? Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm not gonna say no to a free enclosure and to review it, of course. And I will do so honestly. If I have any problems with it, I will sort of mention anything. Although to be fair, I think it's pretty much sort of, you know, fantastic anyway. But I said to him, would you mind including some decor? Just because I, I don't really have much decor. I don't have any spare, uh, you know, cork tubes or anything like that. Um, I've got a little bit of moss, I've got loads of substrate, but nothing for decoration. So I said to Lee, would you mind including some stuff for me? And he included this goodie bag of, um, of decor, which is fantastic. So, I'll show you some of the things that he's included. Which is uh, absolutely fantastic for decoration. Of course here, a, a bag of live uh, sphagnum moss. Which is great. This is actually looks kind of uh, kind of like pinky, so that'd be pretty cool for uh, a nice colourful tarantula. There's some more moss. Obviously, there's a small green moss. Uh, there's a little twig branch thing, which will look nice with uh, the moss on it. There is another one. This one's got some uh, some more moss on it and looks really, really colourful and uh, fantastic. Good size as well. A very nice cork tube. So, uh, obviously it's gotta be an arboreal species, of course. Another piece of, uh, piece of wood, like a, like a boomerang. Again, you know, it's got all this sort of like natural sort of uh, moss and things on it. It'll look great. Once it's uh, all housed up correctly, I will make this look as nice as I can. He also included some, uh, some fake leaves, which is very, very nice of him. Um, I probably won't use this in this enclosure, although I might. Shall I? You know, I don't know. I'm going to have a think about that. I don't know how I'm going to set it up yet, so we'll see. And then also, he's included a water bowl, which if you've ever seen their water bowls, every single water bowl comes with the Spider Shop logo on the inside. So if ever you forget, uh, where you've got the water bowl, you can glance in the enclosure, look for the water edition, obviously then you, you remember. So, absolutely fantastic bag of, um, of decor. I actually said to him, I said, whatever, you know, if you're happy to send me some, I will, I will pay for it, of course, and he very kindly included this. So thank you to Lee and the guys at Spider Shop. Huge thank you, awesome decor, and I'm gonna make this enclosure look as wonderful as possible. So. Let's get on to uh, the setting up of this and then we'll be introducing the spider into it that will be living in it. So let's uh, crack on with the, with the time lapse. So I'm going to turn my studio light off and I'm going to place the lid on the top, like so. I'm also going to turn off the lights to my spider shelf and also the light 
in my bedroom. The only light on now is Ramsey, my bearded dragon. So you can see that lights up absolutely fantastically. I'm really happy with how that looks. I think the addition going in there will uh, will enjoy it. So now I think we need to get the addition and add it into it. Okay then, so I actually just put a post up on my Instagram of this. So if you have me on Instagram, you would have seen this um, back on Thursday, it is today. And I actually have a spider here that I'm going to be rehousing into this and I think she will be absolutely perfect. So the spider that's going in here is this and this is my wiper pour diverse piece. And she's amazing. I wish the camera would focus because she looks fantastic. are amazing, they really are. She's a pretty big girl. And this is actually the mother of the egg sac, so if you bought a diverse piece from a spider shop recently, more than likely you have one of the babies from her. Amazing, amazing tarantulas. And so now I'm going to place her in. There you go. Just kind of won't go in there, I guess. So I didn't get any footage of her sort of roaming around. She practically found the entrance to the cork tube pretty much straight away and went into there. So I will leave her alone and hopefully tomorrow I will get some footage of her out and about and if I do then of course I can add that into, into the video. If not then it will be a future video but on a different note how awesome does that look? I think it looks really really nice and I think she will enjoy uh, that a lot more than her old enclosure which had nowhere near as much stuff to climb on and to interact with so I think she'll be very very happy in there I, I hope she is I hope she is so yeah that looks awesome So as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, sadly, the Diverse Peas has made a couple of appearances, but only just sort of sticking the legs out. So maybe in a few days after she's settled, I will feed her. Uh, today is actually Saturday, the day the video goes up, so I can't really be waiting for her for too long. But uh, yeah, she's just down there. I'll be able to sort of zoom in the... Uh, you can just sort of see her legs on the bottom there so I owe a huge thank you to Lee and everyone at the spider shop uh, for sending me this enclosure and the decor I think it looks really really good I hope you agree and actually I'll probably get a lot of these for my other uh, arboreals I know I was looking at all the suggestions that people said for things like the pokies and these um, the sabar blues so maybe in the future I'll rehouse all the my arboreals into these, which I think would look fantastic to be fair. I really do. So yeah, a huge thank you to everyone at the Spider Shop for sending me this amazing looking enclosure. And I've, I don't have any complaints with it to be fair. Of course I will keep my eye on the, um, the base here to make sure that the adhesive uh, sticks. That's one of the problems I had with the other one 
where the base actually came away but I have tested this very carefully and um, you know to make sure the, the bottom doesn't fall out and there's no sign of that happening just yet uh, and obviously this all the materials and decor that I have in here are not as heavy as the previous piece of wood that I had in there so but with, with that aside I don't have any sort of complaints or niggles with it at all and uh, yeah 10 out of 10 enclosure really really good I'm sure a lot of you saw that uh, positive review coming but uh, I, I, I don't have any fault with it I think it's really really good hopefully the spider will enjoy being in there so yeah everyone at the spider shop again huge thank you I uh, really appreciate you sending me this I hope you are happy with how that looks and hopefully the materials are in place how you envisioned yourself me myself I think I say that looks pretty good so so yeah huge thank you of course if you're not subscribed to me please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you don't miss my future videos if you'd like to support me i do have a patreon paypal which you are more than welcome to support me there if you're able to do so and with that said everyone thank you for watching take care and i'll see you all soon in the next video goodbye for me